Hey family, what I go on my people? You guys are listening to Hot Sauce, we're here, we live and direct every week. You just heard Love You Better by King Combs and Chris Brown. And then before that, we had How You Want It by Tiana Taylor and again featuring the homie King Combs. Oh, fire tracks, man. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it so far. I'm feeling it. I trust Elgin's playlist. This first half is like... Straight, yeah, it's a different vibe. If you've heard of Preacher, like the past episodes, you know, El- like Elgin gets his an Afro beats vibe hard, but he was like, Hey, the Rick Ross album drop, I'm, 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 in, this I'm in this now, yeah, it's just that throwback feel. And um, because Missy Elliott got like a award, and then I went back to a few tracks, and then I was in that vibe, so, right? That's Excellent. why we're here right now. Well, done. But what are we getting into? What's we join in, in the th- studio. Speak your piece, cuz who's in the studio with us? Yo, what's up? What's up? It's Mayo here. <laughs> You can, aka, wear his mail on social media. Okay. And what you do, mail? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Alive, yeah, alive. Yeah, like, Bless, that's it. Tell the people what you do. I'm a dancer, you know. Influence dancing, as I call it. So I would wear myself there, yeah, mostly. Dancing is my passion. So okay, I'm, okay. I like that. Cool. I like that. Cool, because this week we're getting into self-expression, and I feel like we, we felt that, that that falls right into it, you know, just the dance thing. You, you, you choose to express yourself through your dance and stuff. Yeah. You want to speak on that a little bit? like. Well, for me, dance is just, it's just another language. It's like everyone speaks, you know, there's so many different types of languages. Dance is the same. It's just another way of expressing yourself without words. It's through your body. And you got different styles of dance, which is just represents different languages. You got Spanish, French, you got hip hop, you got yeah. pump, you got break dance, you got house, you got afro. So you can really break, we go even salsa, we can even go that deep. It's mm. just another way of expressing yourself when you don't have, or you can't find the words yeah. to express it. And at the same time, music goes and helps add the, it's kind of like the words and you just embody those mm. words and pull it out. So do you, have you always, you always felt, felt it natural to do this from like mad young? Yeah, big time, big time. Like no one in my family, most, a lot of dancers come from like family and all that, like are dancers, but I'm just like the first. You know, I'm, okay. I'm breaking, I'm, I'm paving the path for the family, for the younger generation, my kids and everything. So I came from Africa and I moved here, like, I'm from Newcastle, like New South Wales. Shout out to my new Novocastrians. Novocastrians, okay. Yeah, okay. big time we go up on the sea. So I came from the farm because I'm my mom's Australian and my dad's African. Okay. So I grew up on the farm there. And then, yeah, I started watching Chris Brown videos, Michael Jackson, VCR days. Yo. So I was recording all on MTV hits, all of that. Won it. His very first Team Wizzy. I was recording down <laughs> VCR, brother. VCR, watching you it. You gotta back. do what you gotta do. I'm telling you. Like, like, I, was, I was the wall to wall video. Wall to wall video? No, no, no one it was. You know gangster. what? Them fangs used to get me. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> that, them fangs Jada. is it. That's it. When Jada comes out, Jada Kiss was on that track, it kills it too. Mm-hmm. But Chris Brown just. Nah, he, he did a work. He was inspired by Michael Jackson as well. And. And at the same time, like when I was recording, because we didn't have money to pay for classes. So that, yeah, yeah. that was before yeah. the internet was all there and we're like in the country. So I was recording that and learning all his moves and practicing and then slowly, yeah. slowly evolving. Then, so that was my way of expression. Obviously, I had a connection from there when I saw his dance moves. And then, yeah, he, Asha, you can't forget the King Asha. I ain't, ain't gonna lie. Asha <laughs> was my, Asha is the, my number one, bro. I'm telling you, I know Marion. Oh, okay, and Marion as well, yeah. Oh, Marion's gonna smoke Chris Brown in a freestyle battle. Usher's just like, his what? godfather. Yes, I don't freestyle. Think, no, 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 he did a flip right there too. Yeah, but he it was, that was consecutive. Consecutive. I'm, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. But Chris Brown <laughs> had the best dancer all time. That's well, it. He's a Come performer, on. but when you look at freestyle, go go back, look at Amarion O, and watch that freestyle be there. He kills a Chris Brown performer. Yeah, 100. percent And when it comes to choreography, 100. percent But Amarion, the old Amarion. Not now, what he, he okay. Uh, I'm, know, okay, I was, looking at, Marian, I was looking at this on Mario, not too, the oh, older okay. Mario, like the O back there, like okay. O when he was with Marcus, you saying beach game, all that. That Omarion, forget Chris Brown, like ah, Chris Brown's good, like he's versatile, but if you get that older Mario there, that you just see the passion in his dance. You got you got served, like you got served, he's still like my favorite dance movie till this time, all right, big all right. time. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll agree to disagree for I'm just not gonna, <laughs> I'm just not gonna I'm stand a team on that. I'm a team with it too, but when it comes <laughs> to that, I'll, I'll have to give Amari on that. Respectively, he is the dancer here, Elgin. We might have to do it. Right, right, right. <laughs> we, right. we got strong team Wizzy fans here. I like it, I like it. Yeah. Uh, nah, but um, 
So we, we I, I would say I don't really know much about the Melbourne dance scene, like the community and how it goes so far. You, yeah. you definitely into that as well. Yeah, like you even see like right outside here we train. Like in this building, there's yeah. dancers downstairs, is out here, and it's like, and when I first came, moved like three years ago, that's how I, like I met a dancer in the club, battled him, and he was like, "Yo, yeah. you're dope. Let's go into battle together." And that's how I got into Yo. it. Yeah, literally, like that's how I met all my friends. Like I battled them. That's how I ended up like in Melbourne by accident because more of my friends I battled him when I was living in Perth and we became friends. I still tell him I, I smoked him, but he thinks he smoked him. <laughs> I'm not good, but come on, bro. We every weekend we gotta we battle again. But that's how it happens, and then we connect, and then. I end up in a dance scene here, and then because the dance scene is super small, you know everyone. Mm. But it, it, there's a different scene from we do like small street, so we like humpers, breakers, yeah. house dance, and then there's the urban scene, which is like studio dances, which you might know some, which interchange sometimes okay. they intercross, and they, when there's events and dance battles, you might find some like some urban dances at freestyle events and then vice versa. Yeah, but that's yeah, it became it's very very small actually, really. Even in Melbourne, like Perth, I was living in Perth and it was like super small, like literally, mm. you know, every dancer, like literally. And when I was there, like everyone's like, you're new, I was like, because they know every single dancer. But even Melbourne's really small. Mm. I like that. It's, a, it's like a, it's like its own little community. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's definitely cool. Look, I hate to be cheesy, but like, you know, for, for, for myself and for anyone listening, like when you say I battled someone in the club, is it like, does it, <laughs> does it play out like a step up movie? Like, <laughs> explain to me how you engage is in a just, battle. Is the water just come out of nowhere? Yeah, out of the rain, nowhere, the like rain like stops you in the slow motion. Out of nowhere. Uh, I think it's sort of the vibe. Like, I don't always like... I don't want to sit on some people that just go out to dance to pick up girls because I don't, I don't, you know, like, I'm just going to dance, like, for me. Damn, personal attacks here. Yeah, <laughs> He's listening, I'm like, you know what I'm talking about. There's, but I just go out for the vibes. If sometimes I don't like the music, I'm just, I'm sitting there and I have people like, are you okay? Like, this is the first time I've seen you sitting there because I'm always, like, like, always high energy and everything. Yeah. I don't drink, so people always, like, think I'm drunk or something. I'm like, no, nah, I don't drink, bro. But my energy is always high. But when it comes to battles, like, it's either a lot of testosterone and my friend, we just came from the house and we're arguing who's the best dancer. I'm like, boy, and I came out hard. I, I came out, like, straight up just, like, backflipping. It was just like, come on, bro, you can't do that. That's true. You can't come out <laughs> first move to backflip. So, but no, I like, it's, there's, it's just fun. For That's me, it's cool. just, it's just fun. Especially mm. when there's some other people, like the newbies, yeah. they know you as a dancer and they want, like, have a little dance off, which is fun. Yeah. So I kind of have respect. I, I see it as a, a respect. It's kind yeah. like, Gain all the guys respect. It's not like no hate or anything. Mm. But. Nah, that's dope. I like it, man. But I reckon as usual. Oh, fire tracks. That was the first one was into you by Fabulous uh, and Tamir. Tamir. Oh, fire track. And then after that was um, at you, at your best. Um, mm -hmm. that was by Aaliyah, the the, the great Aaliyah. Oh, nah, nah, never mind. I was gonna get into this album, but I was like, nah, ugh, it's peak, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's peak, never mind, we'll forget it. <laughs> but, um, we're gonna carry on, man. We join in the studio by the man himself, Mal. What's yes. up, man? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Good. How's the vibrations in the studio? Vibes are good, I like it. We've got some brothers in the studio, we've got some sisters. Shout out to my Madeline Queens out there. Hey, oh, shout thank out, you, shout thank out. you, thank hey. you. Hey, welcome, that's welcome. A, hey man, that's the first time we've had a yeah, we've had a queen shout out and we've had mad we've had mad mad like Africans and niggas on this show. Right, right, right. There's that's, no that's a shot at no all of you guys. For the queen shit, guys. That's a, that's a shot at all of you. You shouting out <laughs> you your can't. girls and everything, but you don't even say a queen. <laughs> Come Trust on, me. bro. Just like we were talking before about Vienna, like, you know, you gotta give it to the girls doing their thing. Exactly. Thank yeah. you. Exactly. Thank you. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's good, though. We're talking freedom of expression. We're talking about dance. We're talking about the community. But before we spoke a little bit about how you kind of got into the dance scene and how you kind of meet dancers around Melbourne and, like, places in Australia coming from... You went to Perth as well, yeah. and Newcastle as well, and started dancing here, and then even in Melbourne. But how is the dance scene and, like, what's the kind of lifestyle that you expect with, like, the dance community here in Melbourne? The community, he, it's, it's, it's slowly growing. It's not like we, all of us with social media, all our eyes is on America. So everything's like, everything everyone's watching is LA style. And then now the Afro beat is growing, which is yeah. coming from, like, the UK. It's slowly making Afro, Afro bigger. 
But everyone's just got eyes on that level, and Australia is still, still like a baby if you're comparing it to America and, and every other country. So it's still growing. It, people don't look at dance as like a career option unless you come like from a studio kind of background. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of street dancers. Like in Europe, you can go, you go there like in the summer, in like European summer, and there's dance battles like at least five every every day, like every weekend. In Australia, we haven't had like a battle. There was one like, well, like a month ago. Yeah. And that was here. It's like it's not frequent. In Sydney, it's more frequent. Mm -hmm. But as in turning into like a Kiwi, it's, it's a bit harder. It's harder. There's so many options. There's a lot of options you can teach yeah. in schools. You can teach like get weekend job, like yeah. weekend gigs and stuff. But it's a lot of sacrifice and you know eating bread and egg. And, you know, <laughs> people yeah. see the life. People just seeing the videos of people like people dancing. It's like that's America. Like they had the. They built that brand. Yeah. Like that's the power of brand. You gotta build your brand and then you leverage that into whatever you want. Whatever you want instead of just like but you still gotta keep doing what got you there, which is dance. And just okay. keep elevating and go wherever. Like I'll be going I go to Singapore for battles and then and keep elevating by going to battles just networking and trying yeah. to just grow yeah. really. So, right, so would you, would you say that that's what you're trying to do as well with your brand? Yeah, big time. Like at the same time you see like I just look at America and just like reverse engineer what they're doing entirely, but like the first ones doing in Australia. Yeah, like yeah. they built their brand, but you see, like they just don't dance, they do everything. Like, literally, like you know, what's his name? Concrete, probably. He's like a compa, but he does urban as well, and he's a singer too. He's an actor. I'm just like, boy, they, like, they do everything. <laughs> like, oh, I'm relax, a popper. If, yeah, if I do everything, I'm a popper. One thing, and then that's it. You know, if yeah. like my single pops, that's it. Give, like, yeah. it's it. And they, they just sing. They're going to be the next Chris Brown, because Chris Brown, he, he got big because he was dancing, he was singing too, mm. you know? He's not that great of an actor, but you know? <laughs> But he did it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I did a couple of things. Yeah, yeah, that stomped the eye. Like, oh. Yes, he does. But that's it. I just look at America as like, they set the brain, just like, try to do what they do, be in mm. your own style, build mm. your own brand. Yeah. That's literally it. Like, people not, if you, you're, they're not looking at the dance as a business. Because they're too busy looking at the creative side, but you gotta be the you like you gotta be the business person and the creative yeah, at the same work. time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nah. That's yeah. I get that for sure. Um. So I wanted to ask as well. We always talk about like the Melbourne scene in rap and like producers and music and stuff. And we've noticed there's like in Melbourne we have a very unified sort of group that are coming up right now. Would you say it's the same thing in dance as well? Uh, it is. It is. Music is like, I was like, I'll be hanging out heaps with my friend in the studio, yeah. and I'm just like, bro, I want to drop a song just because it's so easy. Like, I, right. I know more about music than he does. I've just did like a couple of YouTube search and Google search, and I just watched a couple of videos. I'm like, bro, I know, I know exactly what you gotta do. Like, you know, I know exactly what you gotta do to drop yeah. it. And I was like, I want to drop a track too because there's so many opportunities out there. Yeah. Like, you just submit your track to freaking Triple J and all these other platforms. Yeah. And that's saying, like, for dance, it's like, like I go, I'm like, there's nothing there. Like, <laughs> just pull up on YouTube. That's it. Like, mm. that's the only platform we have in, in social media. But they have like Spotify, Apple Music. Yeah. They, they so many, yeah. so many SoundCloud. They have everything out there. Plus, they have the social media and they have also YouTube okay. and everything. So okay. I'm like, I actually never thought. I never, never thought about that. Too mm. But at the same time, the like to break into music, it's so much more harder too. You mm. have to work on. It's like dance, you got to work on your style and everything, but it, there's so yeah. many more people doing yeah. music than dance because the community is bigger in music. So in terms of like breaking into like dance, like we were speaking about with the music scene, how would you go, how, what's an, an advice that you give to like a youth that's trying to break into the dance scene? Breaking, oh, I get this a lot. People like try to tell me, oh, well, people tell me like, ah, oh, I want your life. I'm like, no, you don't because you've been doing it. Like I tell them, like they see this and they see the look, like, hey, it look good. I'm like. I straight up tell them like you're eating bread and eggs, like sacrifice. Like yeah. you're working a nine to five, like quit or find like start doing your side hustle. Like I say for me I was I was blessed but at the same time I don't believe in luck. I believe in creating your luck. Like just go out there. Like if I didn't go to the club that night, like I start wherever I go. Clubbing is like my network. I go there just to yeah. dance. Yeah. Uh, like in Perth I used to go everywhere and dance and then DJs would come to my oh and then they offer me jobs that like other now I'm dancing at the nightclub. Yeah. Because I network with the DJs like, bro, oh, you're dope, come dance at this club. Oh, okay. So, so I tell them that. <clears throat> so it's sort of like, you sort of rigging it, bro, like basically. Like if I come into the club and I think, like, rah, I've got dance moves. Yeah. And then I come and I meet someone like you. <laughs> and then the next minute it's on site and yeah. I, think, I think I'm battling you. And then yeah. next minute you just do a backflip. And then yeah. it's like, bro, like. 
It's respect. Now you have the the hunger to go home and practice harder. <laughs> I, I used to. I, I still do. I love losing because I go to battles and when I when you because when the person wins they got a big head. They don't practice right, and they right, kill. Right. They're sitting on the like, I'm winning all the battles. I'm like, nigga, you're sitting at home on the couch. I'm there practicing. I'm like, you know, watching my videos and I'm like, why didn't I? Okay, okay, I need to practice on this and I'm yeah. pushing myself because when I start winning, I it's like you get comfortable. You your your head gets to be big. You know, yeah. slowly, slowly, and then you think, oh, follow me. I won the last battle. You know, like nah, I want to lose. Then I keep, you know, I keep yeah. pushing. Mm. Literally, that's why I'm like, even in the club where I'm battling, it's just like for fun. Look at the dance practicing. I love it, bro. Yeah. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, in the in the studio, like we in RMIT for the people that listen.